Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Paul's Workshop. Today we're going to be talking about Marketplace and some of the great deals that you can find on Marketplace. If you've been following us for any time here at Paul's Workshop, you know I'm a big fan of Marketplace and I've gotten some good deals here on Marketplace. I've gotten, uh, you know, very good prices or sometimes even free. So we're going to be looking at some of the things that we've picked up free or for really good deals here at Paul's Workshop. And at the end of this video, Eva's going to join me for an unboxing of an item that we picked up completely free today. I haven't opened it yet. You're gonna see it along with me. We're gonna see what kind of a free deal we got on Marketplace, so stay with us. First, let's take a look at this Royobi scroll saw. This was listed on Facebook Marketplace, local to me, for $40. And it included this handmade metal stand. So great working scroll saw. I've been in the market for one for a while. Uh, if you're going to buy them new, they're over a hundred bucks, probably closer to 150. This one was 40 bucks in great working condition. Next on the list of great marketplace deals was this Black & Decker six inch bench grinder. Now this was 25 bucks. I picked this up on Facebook marketplace. Originally, it came with two uh, grinding stones, or it might have been a grinding stone and a wire brush wheel, I'm not exactly sure. But since I already have a Harbor Freight model that I use my, for my wire brushing and for my grinding, I decided to put a couple of buffing wheels in this guy. So now, uh, instead of having to switch wheels back and forth, I can just switch right to this grinder. Uh, good quality, it's an older model. Works great, again, well taken care of. And for 25 bucks, I mean, that's probably what the two grinding wheels would have cost if I went out and bought them, the stone wheels. So really a fantastic deal. This sits underneath the scroll saw, and then when I need to use it, it comes out and we just put that on the bench and makes life so much easier for when you're doing restoration. So keep your eyes open for these. They're all over the place. I see them on Marketplace. Some people are asking a little bit too much for them. Sometimes you're seeing 50, 75 bucks and they're Black & Decker, or they're kind of a, a consumer brand, $25, you're not going to go wrong in working. Next up, a very handy tool if you need to have it and you're doing metal work when you want them and you have to go out and buy one brand new, you're going to be looking at, even if it's a Chicago electric model, you're going to be looking at well over 100 bucks. A chop saw for cutting metal. This one, 20 bucks, marketplace. Cleaned it up a little bit. But, I mean, right out of the gate, it worked. It was fine. It had the abrasive wheel on it. I've since taken it off after I did the cleanup on it. Can't go wrong. Is it a, something that you have in every shop and that you want to have all the time? Depends on what you're working on. But when you see one like this and you know that you're going to use it, grab it. It's cheaper than renting one. It's cheaper than getting the Harbor Freight model. And it's heavy. It's solid. It's, um, you know, three and a half horse, 15 amp. Uh... Just a, a good all-around saw, a serious craftsman. So not uh, not top of the line, but perfect for what we do around here in Paul's Workshop. Now, if you joined us on our shop tour, you know I love to keep my tools on carts and on rolling cabinets and things because it just makes it easier to take them in and out. It's a good place to store them. It really helps maximize space in a small shop. This cart, along with the top toolbox, was $25 within uh, five, four or five miles of the house. I grabbed it, um, it's fine. It's really an excellent toolbox. The only thing I did was put the wood on the top and I mounted my central machinery belt sander and my uh, bench grinder to it, but a great rolling car for 25 bucks. Go out and buy one of those new. It's gonna set you back probably close to 100 bucks. So again, 75% off, it's a good shape. The only thing I did was I painted the back of it black because he had spray painted the box black all around except for the back. So I just painted the back black. And uh, I organized my grinding wheels and kind of just made it into a, a sanding and grinding station. So yeah, another great deal on Marketplace for 25, that was 25 bucks. Okay, sometimes you get really lucky on Marketplace and you find just what you're looking for. And that was the case with this cabinet. Again, I love my rolling cabinets, this one, was free to a good home. And it's uh, the sides are made of metal. The doors are made of wood. Came like this already painted that blue color. 
So, and it gives me a perfect storage space for things like uh, this planer I have, my router bits, my router's down below. Okay, we have a hand miter box. And then on top, my miter saw down to it. So now I can roll my miter saw in and out. Um, and this was a freebie. Nothing wrong with it. Just a uh, person wanted this out of his garage. Here's another great bargain item. $10 on Marketplace. This is a Ryobi charger. Charges your new style batteries and your old style batteries. So your NICADs, your lithium, and your lithium plus batteries for the Ryobi line that we have over there, right? I have several batteries. I only have uh, two chargers that came with the tools. One's a smart charger like this one, and the other one is your average base charger. So I think to buy these is gonna cost you 25 to 30 bucks. So for 10 bucks on Marketplace, and this thing is brand new. Um, he probably got it in a set or had multiple sets or whatever. Um, great, a great item. Right before we picked up what we're going to unbox, I picked up over the weekend this cabinet. Now I've been looking for a cabinet for a while for the garage. I had one of these plastic shelves with all the things in it and I wanted a cabinet. Now if you price out a garage cabinet online, you're looking at anywhere from two to three hundred and up for a cabinet. This is a flam flammable, flame-proof storage cabinet. The sides are a little bit thick, but for 60 bucks, on Marketplace, this is an awesome cabinet. And I'll show you guys one day the inside and what we have stored in here. But if you're gonna store your paints, if you're gonna store um, any types of flammable chemicals, this thing is excellent. But for right now, we're just storing some tools and a few flammable chemicals and things in it. You cannot beat the quality of this cabinet for the price. If you were to get one of these brand new, six, 700 bucks. So 60 bucks to bring this home. There was two of them. I couldn't get them both in my van. 60 bucks though, fantastic, excellent storage cabinet, a great example of what you can find on Facebook Marketplace. Now this brings us to our last acquisition, and this is a totally free item from Marketplace. Now the woman had it listed for $25, then it was brought down to free. Now here's one of the problems with Marketplace. People are flaky. If you've ever tried to sell anything on Marketplace, you'll get 10, 15 people who are coming for it who never show up. If you ever try to buy things on Marketplace, you reach out to the person, you're gonna go pick it up. They're like, no, I'm not gonna hold it. You drive 15 minutes, uh, all of a sudden the thing's not there anymore, or the person doesn't show up to answer the door, et cetera. Well, she um, said to me in the message, hey, are you actually gonna come and pick this thing up? And I said, yes, I'll be there tomorrow. She said 12 o'clock, whatever. So we made the deal. So, and I, as promised, I said, Eva's gonna help me unbox this. So. Let's welcome Eva to the channel. She's been on before. You guys all know Hi. Eva. And uh, Paul couldn't be here today because he uh, he was tired from karate. And, and I don't blame him. It's very cold out here in the garage. It's almost freezing, literally. So, all right. So what we're going to look at is a, it's a sharper image item. So this is top of the line stuff, Eva. So we're going to be unboxing this today. So I'm going to go get it and we're going to unbox this. So here we have it, folks. It's a sharper image, slim CD stereo with AM, FM digital tuner. This was probably the height of technology in 2000-something, right? All right, Eva, why don't you take a look at what's inside the box? Um, it looks like you need to open these two. And I haven't seen what's in there yet, so I'm wondering what exactly I got for free. Don't let it fall off the uh, cabinet there. Oh, okay, so... The original instruction manual is in there, so that's cool. Not that we read manuals on Paul's workshop, but okay. So we're gonna work together on this. Eva, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift the foam, and you're gonna get the you're gonna hold the box. Okay. You can just move that box to the side. Okay, now I'm excited because I haven't seen this yet. Ready? Let's lift it. Let's do this like we're gonna do this like archaeologists do. On, um, on those documentaries, right? And very carefully, they lift the box. Oh, where's the bit? There was some resistance in the box. <laughs> the thing it's coming off, it's like... coming off. Ooh, Holy brand cow, new? still wrapped in plastic. Is this brand new? 
Uh, that's a good question. This looks new. Has this this heavy duty power supply? You, now, okay. Now here's something that I've noticed on sometimes when you get things that have been in wrapped, packaged in foam for a long time, they become one with the foam. The archaeologists knew that they would have to painstakingly remove the foam. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have what looks like a couple, a couple of brackets of some Are these kind. These the pieces of the thing. Still, I mean, they're still wrapped. This is all. Where, where did that other one go? Yeah. Or was there, maybe there was only three. I'm gonna put it back in the box. Okay. So then we have one speaker. I mean, this. This thing is mint condition. This Look looks at this. brand new. This looks brand new. Look at this. There's not a scratch on this thing. Like the box looks like eh, but this looks brand new. The box has a little bit of wear on it. Okay, then we have, oh, it came with a disc. What is? It came with an Abraham Santiago disc. I have no idea who Abraham Santiago I is, but I'm so intrigued. I was about to ask who. And look, okay, so check this out. Look, 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 look. Nice soft opening. There's the controls. This thing, you know, it's supposed to have a remote control, which I haven't come across, so I think we might be we might be missing the remote control. But this looks new. And then it's got this looks like an antenna. Alright, I'm not seeing the remote control, so we're missing the remote control. But okay, so we're gonna put this puppy together and see if it works. So when uh so oh so Eva, let's do a little magic trick. So what? magically we're gonna assemble this, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Wow, that was fast! Holy cow guys, look at this. I am totally stoked. Look at how it lights. It's very, so it's very blue. We plugged it in. And it lights, it's glowing. The stands, I don't think were ever used. I think this thing was wall mounted. Now, it's missing the remote, which is a total bummer. But let's see if this thing actually works. So Eva, um, let's see if we can figure out how to turn this thing on. Um, and we dimmed the, we dimmed the studio lights in here so that you could see the glow. So let's get, uh, let's get the lights on. We have the clock up there. We have power, it's glowing. So uh, it looks like there's something there that you push. You give another try on the front there. Yeah, push that. Oh. And there you see the control deck. Oh, you're doing. You're very. Um, um, Price is right. Nice. Okay, let's see if she works. There should be a, a power button somewhere, maybe. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Let me get in a little closer. Oh, the disc is spinning. Oh, I don't want to get a uh, copyright. Alright. True, true, true. Okay. And then it's got mood light. Oh, you can turn the lights on and off. Light goes on, light goes off. Light goes on, light goes off. Ah. And then it's got an alarm, it's got snooze. So this is also your, um, this could also be your your wake up your alarm clock. Uh, it's pretty cool. And this thing is really neat. Uh, I'm gonna look up, as soon as we finish shooting this video, I'm gonna look up and see how much this thing costs at the Sharper Image, because I remember when the Sharper Image, back when it was a thing, uh, that store, those things were expensive. Like the Sharper Image, that's a store where everybody went in and played with stuff, nobody ever bought anything, mm -hmm. but we always went in and played with stuff. Uh, like Brookstone, those types of places, they, they would have like those expensive massage chairs and stuff. Right. So this is really cool. This is a throwback. Uh, the date on it says 2004. So this is a throwback from the early aughts. Um, you can't beat this. Free on Marketplace? Come on. I mean... Yeah, that is pretty good. Even I think Eva wants to take this over and put it in her room. It uh, would look very cool. We can mount it up on the wall. Totally cool. So guys, sometimes you never know what you're going to get on Marketplace. Um... Uh, I, you could tell by my face. I am so happy with this. This this made my entire week. So, um, the blue is very nice. The blue is very nice. So if you guys know um, Paul's workshop. Uh, if you like what we do here, don't forget to what. Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hit that <laughs> hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. It helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. 
It's so let's free. Who doesn't like free stuff? So everybody loves free stuff. So so uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Paul's workshop. Stuff you can get on Marketplace.